deflected the de deflected the deflected bullet with my own bullet. Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Butterfly Soup. Now I know many of you have probably never heard of this game before, um, but it is a game about um, girls and baseball. I will put a link in the description for the download of this game. So let's hop right into it. So these are the girls we'll be playing as. Hello, Dia. The summer between third and fourth grade. Once upon a time, she have a knife. There lived a princess called Mincio. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce these names correctly. I will try my best. She liked weapons. Everyone was terrified of her. She'd threaten you with knives and steal and break your things. Wow. Dang. She always got sent to the principal's office because she was bad. I mean, that's what happens. Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to prick her finger on a spindle and die. Well, that's unfortunate. Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. Well, wow. How could you be so stupid? She fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Or at least, she was supposed to. Instead, the princess sat up and abruptly said... This is the worst story in history. Oh, she, she's got a little band-aid on her face. So we're on the playground, it seems, and we're playing some make-believe. I'm escaping. Wait. Oh, so this is the evil dragon. Min, that's not how it goes. I'm right here, the evil dragon. I killed you already. Huh, with what? A gun. Wow. I mean, that works. You don't have a gun. I made one out of rocks. That's the niftiest thing I've ever heard someone do. Oh, he's not having it. The hero has arrived. As Mincio's twin, he's trying to reason with her. So this is Jensio. This little Arthur shirt. Min, that's impossible. Who cares? If I had a gun, I win. Can't reason with her. Oh, here's us. Here's Dia. We're so cute. It's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Well, we're kids here. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. This time, someone else will be the princess, not me. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me. Do you want to be the princess? No? Okay. Fine. Dia does seem more like the princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're really pretty. And it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Uh, I just meant that she's less violent. But whatever. Second try. This time, Dia's a princess. Once upon a time. Oh, there she is. There lived a girl named Dia, and she was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say. It was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth, something would come out that shouldn't. She once held on to an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want to see her walk across the classroom to the trash can. Social anxiety. It was that kind of quiet. She was also insanely athletic. There were rumors that under her shirt, she had a six pack. Tragically, despite how buff she was, the princess was also cursed to touch a spindle and die. What's up with these princesses, huh? And one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spell but her true love's kiss. For many years, she... Dia, get up! I'm here to rescue you! Haha, <laughs> only the hero can wake her. 
That's me. I'm the hero. Wait, no? It's supposed to be Jun Seo. No, it's me. Huh? But if you're the hero, then what am I? A gun! Oh, now his name is Gun. What? Min grabs Jun's arm and aims it at the dragon. Bang! You're dead. Nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. I have a gun, too. Why? You're a dragon. This is America. Everyone has a gun. Dia rises to her feet. I also have a gun. Should we shoot the dragon, shoot Min, shoot Jun, or shoot the deflected bullet? What happens if we shoot the deflect? What happens if we shoot the defected, deflected bullet? Deflected the de deflected the deflected bullet with my own bullet. So Min's original bullet is going toward him again. That that's unnecessarily complicated. Why didn't you just shoot him directly? This is way cooler. Yeah. Nice try, but too bad. The bullet bounces off me. How's that possible? My dragon scales are stronger than tank armor. Take that. Maybe we can resolve this without fighting then. Let's talk it out. Violence solves everything. So I think we can tell what kind of child Min is. I'm making a new gun with rocks. Are you replacing me? Yeah, sorry. Bang, dragon's dead. Uh, did you forget? I'm bulletproof. But my gun, gun didn't shoot a bullet. My gun shot a smaller gun, which, which exploded. Wow. I like these drawings. Everyone's like, what the heck, man? What was the point of the smaller gun in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife. No, but why couldn't the original gun shoot the knife? Min gives John an incredulous look. Because it was shooting out the smaller gun. Never mind. Yeah, well, see, sweetie. <laughs> her, lo her logic is perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's say my elbow is injured now. So if you touch that, I lose. Raw. Min lunges at him. He sidesteps and darts. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spins so his back is t to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. She seemed quite small. She may think she's tough. Do you need help? What? No. The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it, and he rushes past her, back the way he came. <laughs> She's so surprised. This is her reaction. Min trips and place face plants on the bridge. That sucks, man. That... That's not good. Before Min can see, Dia quickly picks the, the evil dragon up and hurls him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. Oh. Wait, you're the princess. You can't just do that. Tia throws him off the playground structure, too. As he disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. Where is everyone? They... Balcony collapsed. Castle is under construction. Yeah! <laughs> I rescued you. My hero. Yeah, I'm your hero. Min is struggling to Princess carry Dia down the slide with her. Dia could destroy him a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can repay me with a kit? Thud. I think Min might have a little crush on Dia. Little cuties. My name is Dia. I don't really know what else to say about myself. I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Min Seo. Everyone calls her Min. She's so cool. Do you see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with a sharpie like a tattoo. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. Is that what you look for in someone? <laughs> she stamps them with staples so they hurt more. But she never throws them at me. Aww. 
I think it's mainly because I'm the only other girl she knows who likes baseball. We both used to think we were the only one in the world, so we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous. It must be so fun being on a real team like that. The catcher's gone up to the mound for a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. Someday, that's gonna be us. Wait, what? But how? Your parents won't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor or an engineer. Huh? How come? My parents said so. So, my parents said to pass my math test, and I failed. That's not something to be proud of. We got a little rebellious child. And she just wants to make her parents proud. I don't know how you do it. I want to be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents effed up. You should be able to do what you want without worrying what they think. I don't know. That seems selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. At the age of 10 years old, we are choosing our own destiny. Right now, we're at the Oakland Coliseum with Min's dad and Jun. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't live in California. Do you know where San Francisco is? Well, we're not there. We're like 30 minutes from there. Hey, Dia. Hmm? I have something I need to tell you. Something important. I, uh... Oh, she's looking a little worried. I like how you can, like, slightly look around. And then there's, like, people who are, like, super realistic and then work cartoons. I, uh... N never mind. Forget it. I said forget it. Don't worry about it. Aren't you having fun right now? Are you hungry or anything? Why are you changing the subject? If you're trying to distract me, it's not going to work. Let's go get popcorn and share. <gasps> popcorn is great. I like popcorn. Min is so nice to me. I get distra that distracted with food, too. Just tell me when you're ready to go. The popcorn guy is a few rows behind us. Okay, uh, let's look at an empty seat. This is Jun Seo's seat. He went to the bathroom with Dad. Let's look at the dime. I think Min is going for the loudest sound in history world record. What do you mean safe? You need to get some on laser eye surgery. I hope the person you like likes someone else. Give me a brick. <coughs> 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 I choked on my own spit. She looks absolutely mortified, so Dia turns back to the diamond and pretends she didn't say anything. That was the most relatable thing I think I've ever heard. Min? Yeah? Um, let's talk about school. I hope we're in the same class next year. Y yeah. Actually, about that, uh, hmm? Never mind, everything is fine. This is really suspicious. She's acting weird again, like earlier. What is it? Do you not want to be in the same class as me? No, that's not it. It's just that I won't be, uh, um, forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Jun Seo will know what this is about. Um, let's talk about baseball before we ask what's wrong. You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents won't let you play baseball, why don't you just play softball instead? Give me your hand. I'll show you. Dia offers Min her hand. Min presses their palms together so their hands line up. Her fingertips end a whole inch below Dia's. Her hands are tiny. I guess that makes sense, since her name is Min. The rest of her is mini too. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them. They always slip out halfway through the windup. Are softballs that much bigger than baseballs? Yeah, but that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softball and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands, it's backwards. Why is it designed like that? Beats me. 
Um, are you sure nothing's wrong? Are you sure everything's okay? Y yeah, stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting anywhere questioning her like this. Let's go get some popcorn. Let's go. Okay. Dia and Min got up. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min is gawking excitedly at all the baseball fans milling about. Look, there's so many white people here. It's just like on TV. It really is. The neighborhood we live in is so Asian that I used to think white people were really rare. I guess that's what happens when you surround yourself with one group of people. Too bad all these people are in our way right now, though. We can't get through. I'm going to ask them to move. Excuse me. No one seems to hear her. That was the worst. I'm never speaking again. Time has become mine. <laughs> Everyone, you will never hear me speak. I'm going into a miming career. Don't worry, Dia. I'll take care of it. Okay. Min grabs something, someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. Well? Hey, you dummies! Move or I'll kill you! Startled, people are moving aside. Well, that works too. The strangers glance over in Dia's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other. They both burst out laughing. Are they laughing at me? I hope not. This is real social anxiety right here. <laughs> the music changed though. Oh my goodness. Min continues to forge a path, leaving a trail of destruction behind her. Move or I'll kill your entire family. Even your dang fish won't survive. I'll throw all your fish out into the middle of the street so cars will run over them. I know this looks bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She always lets me be Luigi in Mario Kart. And whenever I land on her space in Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. We all know Luigi is best boy in Mario. I'm a Toad fan, okay? Toad and Yoshi, those are my boys. Die! We're almost there now. Oh, a dog. <laughs> it's a dog, cute dog. It doesn't look very strong. I bet I can, could kill it in one hit. Don't do that. I'm gonna pet it. Let's let Min ask. I don't want her to hurt anybody, but I know Dia, you know, she's struggling with some things when she's talking to people. I don't want to embarrass myself. Min threateningly approach approaches the dog. Let us pet your dog or else. Go ahead. She won't bite. I'll fight yet. Wait, Min, you already agreed. Oh, right. Pet the dog. Good dog. Dia pets the dog. The dog closes its eyes and smiles. <gasps> Dia is almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you name it? Good question. Palm or Shiba? I'd probably name my dog Palm. Honestly, yeah, Palm. It's just simple, cute. <laughs> Palm. What the heck kind of name is that? Cool name. It's short for Pomeranian. That's way too simple. The, oh, if it if the other one was Shiba, does it mean that one was short for Shiba in you? Uh, maybe. Then what would you name your dog, Min? Me? Hmm. Min is thinking with an intense look on her face. Skull Crusher. This poor dog. <laughs> mm. Dia is silently laughing at her. Of course you'd choose a name like that. What? It's better than Palm. What's wrong with Palm? Let's get some popcorn. Popcorn! Popcorn! He looks busy. I give up. Time to walk away. He's there to take your money, Dia. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Give us popcorn or else. Min is so brave. Then you better pay up. These are ten bucks a bucket. Ten bucks? What a ripoff. Min hit the man in the groin with her bat. Oh, oh no. Oof. The man sinks to the ground as if he's been shot. Min grabs the popcorn bucket out of his tray. I got it, let's go. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? He's still curled up in pain. We better go before he recovers and comes after us. 
All right. Oh, it's my dad. Yuck. Min, respect your parents. Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone. I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Dia must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks up. Do you want to learn more? Sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi? Easy. It's... Uh... Mm, huh? Does she not know how to say it? Uh... That. I, I don't speak that language. I don't speak Korean. Maybe someone watching this speaks Korean, but I don't, so... Serang... Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That. Min is starting staring at Dia with a really complicated expression on her face. What? Am I saying it right? Y yeah, that was good. Cool. Now I can greet you and Jun Seo like this. N no, wait. You can't say that to Jun. Huh? Why not? Because, uh, it's a special kind of hello. What did she teach us how to say? Excuse me? You can only say it to certain people, like me. Oh, is it one of those things where you use the wrong one? It's really bad? Y yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain. But it's correct when I say it to you. Yeah. So only say it to me. Got it? Got it. Oh, jeez. What did she make us say? Wow. Korean is really complicated. What about you? How do you say hi? Um, let's see I like to fart. I like to fart. <laughs> that's really long. What the? That's so long. I, uh... I like to fart. I like to fart. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Your pronunciation is great. Look at the strangers. I can't make out what they're saying. I hope they're not saying bad stuff about me. Honey, they're not saying bad stuff about you. They probably don't even notice you're there. No. I'm sorry if that doesn't help. That was kind of mean. He's still talking on the phone. Doesn't sound like he's using the phrase Min just taught me. I guess there's not a lot of opportunities to say hi in the middle of a conversation. Hey, let's hurry up and sit down. Jun Seo is probably wondering where we are. She's right. Poor Jun Seo. There you guys are. Where'd you guys go? The dog. Dia, that's really cryptic. Is it? Here, take this. Min gives Dia the popcorn bucket. <gasps> Min, where'd you get that bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Yeah, it was fun. No, you have to stop stealing and threatening people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I'd beat them. Even if they were what even if there was a bear, I'd kill it with my bare hands. Bear, bare hands. Ha ha. Min, that's impossible. I'll punch it real hard in the head like wham! Dead. It's not that easy. You'll just get mauled. Yeah, right. I'll dodge. I bet I can kill two different bears at once. Min, no. It's useless. I don't think Min's brain even know what fear is. Jeez, John, you really sound like Noelle sometimes. Noelle is my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes, but wait, you forgot to collect our homework. I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. I think Min wants to kill her. Someday when Dia decides she doesn't like Noelle anymore, I'll kill her. I'll kill her to death. Don't do that. Even though Noelle is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'd make sure to get all the white stringy stuff off too. This is a good person right here. I bet Noelle wouldn't do that. What the heck kind of scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Just because. Forget it. Let's talk to Min. Min? Yeah? Let's offer her some popcorn. Dia holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks! Min happily grabs a fistful of popcorn and shoves it into her mouth. Never mind. Jun Seo? Uh, offer him some popcorn first. Dia holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks! Jun Seo took a single piece of popcorn. I'm definitely Min in that regard. You can take more than that. Really? You're so nice. 
John Seo took another single piece of popcorn. Is there something going on with Min? Like, did she do a felony? Are the police after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day. It's like she's hiding something. Really? I haven't noticed anything odd. Huh, I guess if even Jun Seo isn't concerned, everything is fine. Phew, I just, I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. Alright, uh, let's look over here first. She's cradling something in her arms. Dog? Dia quickly jogs over to take a look. To her severe disappointment, it's a baby. Oh, the babies are cute too. The visiting team is pitching now. Whoa, some kind of kid is talking to his dad. Dad, who's that? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. It's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. The movement on that pitch is nuts, like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose. Like, for fun. I can't even imagine it. Every time I talk to my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. So, I only talk to them now when I absolutely have to. How come they switch catchers too? Because catching a knuckleball is really unpleasant and difficult. If you can do it reasonably well, no one does it really well, that one skill can keep you on the team. A lot of knuckleball pitchers end up having one catcher who specializes in catch uh, catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. For instance, JC Martin always caught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball, and Doug Mirabelli always catches Tim Wakefield in his knuckleball for the Red Sox. The two of them even get traded together as a set. It's like a weird baseball marriage. Dia, I have a great idea. I should learn to throw a knuckleball, and you can catch it for me. Wait, but didn't they just say it's really hard to catch? So what? You're like a baseball goddess. You're overestimating me. I'm not that great. I just got lucky that one time. You've gotten lucky so many times, I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand. All of those were flukes. They just happened by chance. I don't have a special technique or anything. Your special technique is being you. You're the best. You're putting too much faith into me. I'm not that good. When you see what I'm really like, you'll be like, that's it? I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher is the coolest. You're so brave. I hate pitching. Why? You get to stand on the mound and kick butt in front of everyone. But that's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make. Especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, it'll look like all girls suck at baseball. Then don't mess up. That's hard. <laughs> It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up for them to think that. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. That's kind of comforting. I've always been out there alone out there. It'll be you and me against the world. Okay, let's do it. Okay, everyone, this is where I'm leaving off this episode. Um. If you liked it, click like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And be on the lookout for an episode two. Um, I will put the down the link in the description. And I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Alright guys, bye!